the superhighway neck anatomy is a fairly simple one, but it carries an important relation with the different spaces and different structures in this area that will help us identify any pathology. Starting with the muscles of mastication, located in the masticator space, here in purple, and we move here to the left, we can see more detail. So the first muscle we have here is the masseter muscle. The second one is a temporalis. And here we have two pair of muscle, and those are going to be the pterygoids. We have the medial pterygoid and the lateral pterygoid. More posterior, we have the parotid space, and medial to that, we have the carotid sheaths. Additionally, we have the parapharyngeal space, that is this area here, between the parotid and the carotid sheath. Having said that, the other thing I wanted to review is the important role that the mandibular nerve plays here. As you can judge or we can infer from the proximity to these muscles, the mandibular nerve is going to be the one innervating the masticator muscles. By that, we mean that the mandibular nerve, which is part of the trigeminal nerve, and we know the trigeminal nerve has three divisions, the first one being the ophthalmic division, the second one being the maxillary division, and the third one being the mandibular division. The mandibular division is the only one that carries both motor and sensory functions. Having said that, the important aspect that we need to know is that whenever we are assessing for neoplasm in this area, we need to make sure that we include on imaging all the way to the foramen ovale, which is the foramen where the mandibular nerve is going to enter the skull. And the reason we do this is because we're going to be assessing for perineural spread, and that's going to be an important aspect of staging for this neoplasm arising in this area.